Good morning, everybody. It's August the 30th, <clears throat> and I am just here to give you your daily shot of wisdom. If you hear my dogs in the background, I apologize. It just got super triggered because I started to get up, and they thought food was happening, and it is not. <laughs> so they're all upset. Um, I did just pull a few cards for today, and... <clears throat> What it's looking like is that the collective, whoever is listening to my readings, is really getting to this place of um, breaking out of the stagnancy that, that we've been in for a time. Um, this is something that you may have been working toward or waiting for. Um, you may have planted the seeds all the way back in, I'm getting um, seven months ago. So we're talking like around January, February. Um, and that's about to really take off and go forward. It requires a really, again, a really profound choice. I feel like I'm saying those words frequently these days, but... It's either that you're making that profound choice, you are realizing that choice needs to be made, you, you know the truth of that choice or what you need to do. Um, for some people, because we're talking about the lover's card here, it's literally going to be about a romantic partnership um, or soulmate type partnership, twin flame type partnership, something that's um, maybe bigger than, you know, your usual run-of-the-mill um, relationship. Um, and the... And it's this is something that's been destined, like... It's almost like I'm hearing, like, it's go time. Like, <laughs> you're really stepping into that part of your journey right now. Um, and you're moving forward into it very quickly. This doesn't have to be a romantic relationship, by the way. This can absolutely be um, another kind of partnership, but it is the pulling together of energies. So um, this could be just like finding that perfect business partner or whatever. I really feel like, though, that this is huge. Whatever it is, it's huge. And it, it's kind of like setting the tone for this next phase in your life. Um, the angel in the lover's card is making me think of two things. Number one, it looks to me almost exactly like the, um, the hanged man turned right side up. So it's like, okay, this is the end of the waiting. And it also looks like the angel in the judgment card. So this is like the culmination of that judgment period you've been going through, that period of reckoning, that period of uh, awakening and burning through the karma that you have been holding onto or that you brought into this life, which was always destined to be dealt with right now so like again I feel like I'm saying this all the time but you're exactly where you need to be like you're not behind you didn't waste time you're exactly where you need to be because this karma needed to be out, be dealt with right now um, or or through this the last seven months um, and sitting above the devil I really feel like this is that turn of the wheel um, out of that stage of um, of like debriding the karma around you um, so we have a lot we have like three cards of, of movement three cards of moving forward of choices and then we have three cards of stagnancy of bondage and with the movement cards on top of the stagnancy cards it makes me feel like um we're just coming out of this period of waiting, of having planted the seeds, of having burned off the karma, of having been in a holding pattern, waiting for the perfect time to burst forward. And that time has 
come. Um, you can see the, I've, I've pulled also two oracle cards, and this is based around the fact that we're now seeing the truth. You're seeing the truth of the matter. Um, whatever's resonating inside you as the truth of the situation, um, it's time to really grab a hold of that and move forward with that truth. That change is around you. It's coming regardless of whether um, you're afraid of it or not. So you can either grab onto it and say, all right, this is what we're doing now. I'm going to lead my own charge. Or you can be terrified of it, sit in stagnancy for longer, and have yourself shifted anyway. Um, this is all, like right now, the collective is going through its own, everybody's situation is different, but pretty much everyone is going through this stage of um, leaping forward. Like your energy has been cleared to the point where you're able to grab onto these higher timelines and burst forward with um, uh, into your into your destiny, into your true path, um, onto your career path, or onto your mission path. In whatever way that requires, or in whatever way, wh whatever that means for you, is what I'm trying to say. I've only had one cup of coffee, and I need at least two. In any case, um, this is actually a period um, that is bringing you, just to underscore the idea of destiny, the bottom of the deck was a ten of pentacles. So this is your legacy. This is your, this is your um, both emotional and material stability. If you are on this path and if you grab onto this path and if you move forth in your truth and accept the change. Um, and I'm not saying it's going to be easy all the time, but the reality is that the, um, the energy is aligning to bring you to this place where you don't even, you know how they, they say, like, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. It's kind of like that. Like if you're doing this thing that you're meant to do, all the other things are going to come in. All the abundance is going to start coming in. Um, you're setting yourself up to be where you need to be for the rest of your life. And I'm taking this message personally because I know I'm at a transitional point, especially in my career. Um, and I know that there are things that I need to do um, to shift into what I need to be doing. And uh, I've been resisting. <laughs> so I get it. You know, I'm, I'm where all of you are. We are all right in this place. And it's important for us to um, accept our truth and shift with the change. Because you're here. This is time. It's go time is what they're saying. And everything that you ever wanted or that you were destined for is right here. This is like the portal where you're stepping through where we already have been to that place. But now it's like, do this. Do this now. Um and uh, and you you are exactly where you need to be. So don't let that don't let the change scare you. Don't let that create anxiety because I can just feel that coming through from a lot of you. Like oh my god, that's so easy for you to say. But 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 accept that the choice that you have to make is like working through that anxiety, stepping through it regardless is part of your healing process. It's part of you stepping into your power and accepting your power and overriding the change that you've, the chains that you have been wrapped up in for so long. Okay. Um, I hope this is helpful f for some of you. And um, please remember, if you don't resonate with this, you don't necessarily have to then the message isn't for you but if it does resonate um, I'm grateful for that and um, please feel free to leave comments and um, subscribe to my channel if you are listening on YouTube and thank you so much I'll talk to you soon bye